Hey guys, so first video here. Um, I'm already into the work, but um, this is the 1940s farmhouse. We are in Texas between Austin and in Houston, and um, I'm going to show you guys around a little bit on what I've done so far and what else there is to do. Uh, if anybody has any questions about what I've done so far, just let me know. Um, there are quite a few things I'll point out that we'll get into a little bit deeper as we get into, um, you know, some, some more videos. Uh, currently I'm working on the laundry room and the bathroom. The laundry room is behind me. I'm actually sitting on the ground. This is a block in beam house, very much like a pier and beam, except, uh, there are no piers in the ground. It's just blocks sitting on top. So I, I will walk you around a little bit, show you what I've done so far, and we will get into it. Okay, so, so first things first is uh, all of the old plumbing was, uh, all of the old plumbing was cast iron, or uh, galvanized steel, not cast iron. Um, you can see there's an old, um, uh, sewer line sitting there but all the new sewer lines in the back are PVC uh, I have replaced all of the water lines with PEX you can see that's a temporary line right there going over to the toilet just so uh, there's the toilets operational um, and the uh, here is right here is the that's the old cast iron or uh, galvy and the copper not sure you can see that well but there it is so stepping back a little bit if i get back here you can see that's the the new pex line but it's going to um it's going to go up in that in, a, in a, the wall right there you can see the wall and then what we have is under here let me get out under here it's hard to see but over on the other side of the house there where the light is that's where the kitchen sink is so there's a hot and cold line running there and then the pex line goes off that direction but i've climbed under there and dug all that out and uh and put that line in the ground we're in texas so not too terrible i don't know if you can see it you can see right here it's sticking down that's the old propane line for some propane heaters um, but all this started, we'll get up here and show you this, is the, the floor joists. These are dimensional 2 by 8s um, and they're hung on, turn over here, you can see they're split and there's no hangers on that, but they're sitting on 6 by 6 uh, turn down a little bit, there's the, um, there's the, uh, the block and beam beams a six by six dimensional lumber so this is not rough sawn uh, but you'll see they've cut that that's really only a four by but you know this is an 80 year old home and there's no splitting there um, of course this was only holding the laundry room that is lead paint you'll see there is my little lead paint tester mark moving over here uh, the whole floor joist system was rotted out if you look around, you can see the old floorboards where there's rotting. Some of that's in good shape, but you'll see this mold. It looks black, uh, but that is dry rot mold or indicative of dry rot mold. I obviously haven't sent that off to get tested, uh, but we'll do some treatment for that. And then we'll put in new 2x8s with hangers. Um, but today's project... So starting out for today, what we're doing... If you can see, I've got I've got uh, two 20 ton uh, screw jacks outside holding this wall up. Uh, so you probably can't see very well, but if you can, the um, the air that's under that four by four, I've got that wall lifted up off of that beam. That beam's got to be replaced. It's rotted over here by the door. You can see the the splitting of the beam. Uh, that pier is turned over. Um, over here in the corner, just temporarily, I'm using a car jack, a three-ton car jack. But if we get over here, I've got a new pad poured. Here's the old one. You can see that's what they look like. Um, but that's level. 
it might not look that way, but it certainly is. And uh, and then I'm gonna put two eight by eight by eight by sixteen blocks on their side and hold that up. But uh, this all started because as you can see right here, this is just toast. That's just gone. So we'll get that fixed up, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna come outside. <laughs> There's my my refuse pile. We'll come over this way. What you'll see, it's old original door. Um, we're gonna take all the siding off. The windows are coming out, and we're going on with zip sheathing all the way around. And so I will get on that, and I will take you guys through this journey. This is the very beginning. I've done nothing else on the house all the way around. Oh, that moved. <laughs> I just stepped on it. I just stepped on that, and it came down. Yeah, that's because, you know, there's no load bearing on it. I cut all the nails. <clears throat> so there you have it. Uh, that This is the 1940s farmhouse. Uh, you know, there are some things we'll talk about. Lead paint and how to be safe with that. Taping off the house while you're messing with it. Uh, you'll notice there's, there's a lot of lead paint in the house. I'll go through all that. Um, but what I'm doing to remediate that and make sure that I'm not leaving a bunch of lead paint dust around um, once we uh, once I'm finished um, I will we'll talk about that talk about a bunch of other stuff if there's any questions somebody has on you know how the house is constructed and things like that it's uh it's a balloon frame but we'll, I can show you some details if you want um, just let me know so um, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll talk to you later.